this is my bomb Empa Tag M75. If you are watching our previous videos, you've seen this bike a lot. Some of you are requesting for a bike check, but before we do that, I would like to share my journey on how I started mountain biking and the reasons behind of my upgrades. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please consider to click the subscribe and bell notification for you not to miss our future videos. began five years ago when we were on a date in Intramuros, Manila. While we are walking around, my partner told me this one that changes our life forever. Next time we visit this place, we should have a bike. So I'm tired of walking and walking and walking and walking. After a year, she insisted to buy a bike. Of course, we don't have the position to say no, so we went to Quiapo in Manila to see what are the bikes that they can offer. My first choice was the Twinks folding bike, but when I saw this, Drinks M136. I fell in love with this bike, so we decided to get this one, including this M176L, a lady-specific bike by Drinks. While I was scrolling on my Facebook wall, I saw a post from Red Bull Rampage showing some people that are doing some jumps and some tricks. Then a question comes up to my mind: How did they do that? So immediately, search it on YouTube, and then saw a lot of how to jump or how to funny up tutorials. I tried my best to copy those tutorials and practice alone over and over again until I get the hang of it. I also search on the internet the nearest trails that I could try like the Heroes Bike Trail and Army Bike Trail. These places are amazing and beautiful with a lot of trees and friendly people. To tell you honestly, I learn a lot from these places. Over the time, I met some guys that are into long rides or adventure riding. They invited me to join their ride and my first ride was Inua Wadam, coming here from Makati City. And this ride led to another long ride until I reached the place where I was born, Baguio City. This is my first frame upgrade coming from a drinks bike. It's a GT Avalanche 1 Extra Small. up my game especially on jumping because if you set up this one it looked like a dirt jump bike this is also the frame that i used when we went to Baguio city while i was saving money for my new upgrade i decided to join my first ever mountain bike race since it's a cross-country competition my friend lent me a frame that is longer and much better for pedaling efficiency it's a 26er rocky mountain aluminum small to medium frame Two weeks before the race, another friend lent me a real cross-country bike. It's a 29er hardtail from Rocky Mountain. This bike went to a brutal race and ranked 53rd over more than 3,000 race participants. I learned how to upgrade when I got myself into an accident. I crashed on a triple drop as my stop fork can't handle the impact. I started upgrading my fork then cockpit until it becomes a full bike. This bike step up my game especially on downhills and technical sections. I also started to join races like enduro races. My first race I got an 11th rank in Baloc Laguna and I joined another race in Agoncili, Batangas, where I first documented my race and becomes my first ever uh, YouTube video. I also use this bike on a cross-country race where some of you like the video and others dislike it. Padaan! Padaan in the My last enduro race was in Patiis, San Mateo. Before the lockdown, we used this bike on a street ride together with Joyride in Duro Team.
Miss the Bam and Batak 275 frame is made up of aluminum alloy with a 4 barrel linkage suspension. It has a Rorschach Monarch R rear shock suspension paired with the best mid range port SR Sancho Auron 2018 Boost model. Both suspension has a 160mm of travel but not really sure on the rear. The cockpit is composed of Dartmoor 800mm high rise handlebar and a 40mm stem. It has a giant lock on grips and this is one of the best soft mid-range grips that are affordable on the market. I am using a Shimano Z brakes quad piston that stops a 180mm rear XC rotor and a 203mm XC front rotor. For my drivetrain, I use 11-speed SLX shifter, derailleur, cogs, chain, paired with a 175mm crank with a generic FSA 32T chain ring. My pedals are Crank Brothers Stomp 1 size large. I choose this as it is thin and has a larger foot placement that suits my riding style. I am using a weapon Aegis 27.5 rims with 32 outer width diameter. In my rear, I use a second-hand Synergy cantilever hubs, while my front is a chosen boost hub. My front tie is Maxxis Asigat 2.5 with a DH casing and CSC rack hub 2.4 wired beads at the back. My seat post is a Shimano Pro Koryak driver post with 120mm travel and my saddle is a giant contact with a low railings. This frame has a 65 degrees head angle and a 46 inches wheelbase. On my current setup, it has a 14 inches bottom bracket height that prevents you from a pedal strike but makes it harder to corner due to high center of gravity. The best thing about this bike is that the frame has two suspension setup, a 4.7 and a 5.4 inches suspension travel option which allows you to use shorter or longer rear shock. I use the 4.7 setup as these are much easier to hop and jump while the 5.4 is quite stable on downhill. If you are also a user of this frame, correct me if I'm wrong with my assumption. Whatever bike you have, enjoy it as you are blessed to have one. Question of the day, how did you get started with mountain biking and what are the upgrades that you made so far? As always, my name is Rogelio, ang yung tropang vlogger.